you doing everyone? So as you just saw as I unloaded all the tree limbs that I picked up from my sister's house yesterday, uh, on the way home I ended up blowing a wheel bearing out on the trailer as uh, you can see it's got a little bit of a wobble to it. So that's what we're going to do today is replace this wheel bearing. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this trailer up in the air and get this tire off. And I got it up in the air, you can really see how bad that wheel bearing is. So what I'm going to do next, with my impact, and get this tire off here. And just roll the tire out of it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers, bend this car pin, and get this car pin out of here so we can get the nut off of here. Now, I don't have the size socket that I need to do this, so I'm just going to grab my pliers here and just spin it off. And just save that for when we put it back on. As you can see, those bearings are fully blown out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the garage and see if I can find something to get this old racing bearing out of here, and we'll be right back. Alright, so now I got those the old race out, which was a bit of a pain, but came out, so now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and get the new wheel bearing ready to go in.
So I've got my new wheel bearings here. Just gonna open the pack up here. not check this before I bought them so I'm hoping I have the right size and that is actually looking like I do not so we're going to see if I have another set in the garage and see what we can do Oh, ended up finding the right bearings. So now I've been sitting here fighting with this inner race here for a little bit and it's just not coming off. So what we're gonna have to do, I'm just gonna grind it off. All right, now that I finally got some bearing situations figured out. So now I'm gonna just pack the bearings. Got my bearing packer here.
All right, should be pretty packed. So, not really sure how much I really care for this packer, so I'm just gonna go through this really quick and just pack it by hand like I usually do. All right, so now I finally got my new wheel bearings on. Uh, I've got the wheel seals. I've got everything greased up. Now, I'm just gonna hopefully slide this back on here. pretty tight fit on here.
Uh, I've got that on there far enough. I can get some threads on there. So now I'm gonna just run this nut in and tighten it up the rest of the way. Right in nice and snug and back it out about a half turn or a turn. All right. Make sure that your wheel bearings are moving freely. You're gonna want to snug it up just a little bit. Make sure that your wheel bearing's still moving. So you got your wheel bearing set where you want it. Just gonna put your cotter pin. Of course, my car pin doesn't want to go back in right. Just take the end of your cotter pin. You're just gonna want to bend it up. That way it can't move anywhere. And typically you'd want to throw your dust shield back on there, which I don't know where mine's at. So I'll have to just do that another day. So now that that's all on there, make sure your wheel bearing's all good. And grab your tire.
no more wiggling. Moves freely. Drop our trailer down. And there we go. That's all there is. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments. Hoping I uh, hopefully get some more content out pretty soon. Doing some small engine repair and hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks.